Hello everybody, welcome to Waffle and Watches and to my new subscribers and to those who are subscribed and are returning. So, I was asked a question on my double date, what it would look like uh, in a 40 mil version and there isn't a 40 mil version of a double date. This is your only nearest size, it's 39 mils, it's a date day version and it's the only one they do in 39 mils that's a step down from the 42 mil and it is gorgeous this one is the steel and gold version there are versions in all steel but this is all i can get my hands on at the moment love that second sand look at that looks like a sewing needle beautiful and i also like the way the black shield and the text all match up i mean typically it's all beautifully made less than you would normally get with tudor now what do we have on this one, we have a gold double bezel, middle links, and this crown. But what we have is 39 mils on this case size. We have a 47 mil lug to lug, which is rather nice. And it's 11 mil thick, but with 21 mil inner lugs. Bit annoying, but don't worry about that. It is also roughly about 20.8 here, because it tapers down all the way to 18 mil right here at the clasp smaller version obviously as mine so you've got the over sort of security claspy bit that you get on the double date slightly smaller in this obviously and when you flip it up it has the same ceramic ball bearings here to keep the tolerances nice and sharp over time and then if you get your fingernail underneath here you have ceramic ball bearings again on the inside love it and the same milled high polish in a class bit with the Tudor name logo inside. So clip that back, flip that over, and that comes all the way back up to here. And this is actually really nice. Exactly the same quality, but I like the way that the, the gapping on here is really nice, particularly sort of here in the middle parts, just gets rid of all the heat. So what do we have? This, I believe, is a solid gold bezel. It's a double step bezel like you get in the double date. I just need to Get rid of the fingerprinty bits on here because it is highly polished. And every time I touch this, I like it. Oh, God, I don't know. Uh, right, so carry on. Yeah, focus. So, yeah, this is solid gold, apparently. Um, then we have a five-link bracelet, which has brushed on the outer links, which are slightly wider. The middle links here are high-polished still, and I believe this is wrapped. Don't take my word for it, though. Double-check that yourself. Then we have, actually we'll try this, this side. I believe this crown is capped with gold, not solid gold. You need to double check that as well with your own sort of findings. But the same profile as the double date, just slightly smaller. Same polished tops that match the polished centre links, obviously, of this. And really like this. No, focus. Uh, where were we? Oh yeah, but left hand side. Um, same profile again, just slightly smaller. Now, on my... Watch, this is black to match that, and I quite like that. It's it's a nice touch. I mean, I don't have that on my double date, but then my double date's got blue indices, um, so, you know, it would probably look weird. But on my wrist, this is what the 39mm, for want of better words, version, it's not the same version. Obviously, this doesn't have an in-house movement. This has a solita movement, I believe, um and this if you wanted something smaller than a double date this is the only thing that comes in as a date day and look at that look down the barrel shot on a 17 centimeter wrist it's worryingly comfortable on for me i worryingly like it too much and i need to no no be good it's not mine i can't buy it no so on ladies gents if you've got a wrist a bit bigger than 17 or a bit smaller than 17, I think it would fit lovely. Yeah, I really like this. So there you go. That's kind of the only option that you have, really. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. Have fun. And I've got to take this off my wrist. Oh, God, I've got a problem, haven't I?